Hey guys, long time no see. Sorry for the extended hiatus, but I'm hoping to get back to um, filming videos for you guys. Um, but I did get my hands on the Jeffree Star mini um, mystery box, and this little guy has had some controversy the last few days with people unboxing their boxes. Um, I will get a little bit into it, but I first wanted to actually cut this open, so I have not opened it yet. It's still sealed shut, so I do have some scissors here, so I am going to cut it open um, so we can see what's inside. So, Hope everybody has been doing well. I know it's been forever since I've been on my channel, but you know, that's what happens when life gets to you. So, all right, we're gonna open her up here. So we have some stuffing. Oh, I got the box I didn't want. <laughs> okay, so I got the shade 818 of the Velour Liquid Lipstick. Um, and then I got the chocolate covered strawberry, um, velour lip scrub. So his lip scrubs are bomb. So I don't have this one. So this is pretty awesome. This is a shade I will never wear because this isn't something that would look flattering on me. But, um, yeah, it's a very, it's kind of like a coral bright shade. I'm more of a nude gal. So um, that's a little disappointing, but that's all right. And then lastly is these really cool stickers. So this is what's causing controversy lately. So um, I first, I did buy the other two boxes. So I did get the um, deluxe and premium and then um, I originally purchased those first with other stuff from the holiday sale on Thanksgiving. And then I was like, oh, the flyer did say one exclusive cosmetic item per box. So with the um, Thanksgiving sale, it had a really cool liquid lipstick in the small box. So I'm like, uh, you know, I don't want to be kind of like left out. It's only 20 bucks, whatever. So I don't know how it happened because I know a lot of people did not get their hands on these boxes, which is a, an issue in it of itself. Um, but I did manage to get my hands on the mini. So, um, a couple days ago, everybody started receiving their minis in the mail and, um, we got two items and a sticker sheet, which for the value of the box, $20, you know, this is 18, this is 12. So this is 30, the box I only paid 20 bucks for. But it, the flyer that um, was posted, which everybody pretty much got their info from, was that there was gonna be um, an exclusive cosmetic item in the box, which clearly, this this is stickers, not tattoos, nothing like that. So it's not a cosmetic item. And that's where people were feeling outrage. I personally would not have purchased the mini box if I knew there wasn't going to be an exclusive cosmetic item in it. So my box, my stickers costed $14 because the value of the box is $44. So $30, $14. There's other people who received the lip ammo and a um, liquid lipstick. Um, and then the stickers, so the stickers were $8 for them. There's a ton of issues going on online. If you hop on Twitter, you'll see the whole thing. I'm not going to like post anything because I don't want to give, you know, publicity to it. But um, basically, there was a girl on Twitter who kind of sort of called out Jeffrey about it. Like, hey, we're your fans. Like, I know this was a big year for you, but you gave us stickers, like, you know, whatever. And he kind of dragged her for it, which I, this really left a sour taste in my mouth. You know, I think he handled it well. If he did not post that tweet, he did address it. He did send us an email. We all did get refunds for this box because it was not advertised correctly, which human error, it does happen. Like, I'm not going to fault them for it. I really don't think 
we necessarily needed a refund like sorry hey here's a coupon or something I would have been happy with that um I think the stickers are awesome I feel bad that he dragged the girl because I think he is personally taking attack on people saying that the stickers suck they don't I think they are beautiful someone did take the time to hand draw these you know it's not an easy task to do but it's not an exclusive cosmetic item. And at the end of the day, that's what we thought we were getting. So I was a little upset when I did see that we were just getting stickers. Am I going to use these? Yes, I will use them. Um, I think they are really awesome. It's just not what was advertised. And we as a consumer have every right to be kind of upset about that. So for people to drag other people about, you know, oh, well, it's $20. Why are you so entitled? Like, not everybody can even afford this. You know what I mean? So that's what people don't understand. The majority of people can't afford what's in this box. And when you're promised three cosmetic items and you get two and a sticker sheet, you know, that's kind of, you feel like you were lied to. So I, I get it. I kind of felt a little annoyed by it as well. But, you know, he made it right. I just really wish he would not have you know, dragged the girl on Twitter. Like, that was completely unnecessary. And I feel like also with, you know, the Jaclyn Hill issue with her lipsticks and people were coming at her for dragging the one girl, I believe her name was Veronica, um, for contacting her saying, my lipsticks are hairy, why are these things in, you know, in them? And then Jaclyn came for her. Jeffrey just did the exact same thing. Um to this girl on Twitter the other day. You know what I mean? So I just, and you know, the issue I have is he calls out Jacqueline for bad business practices, but he kind of is doing the same thing. So, you know, I, I don't, I don't agree with it. Um, yeah. So basically that's kind of the gist of it. I am getting the two other boxes and some other things that I ordered from the sale. So, um, I will be doing unboxing of, of those two. Um, just for other catch-ups, I did, um, stop doing my Young Living, um, Essential Rewards order every month. Um, I'll probably eventually do something regarding that down the road. Um, and I now subscribe to BoxyCharm, so if you guys are interested in seeing videos of me unboxing those, I can do that. Um, but I just wanted to come back here and film this. Um, I did buy these boxes partially due to wanting to film again and kind of unbox stuff and things like that. So, um, yeah, I've missed being on here and kind of having a little outlet to do some fun things with people. So, um, yeah, so that's basically the gist of it. So, um, overall, I mean, you know, it is worth the $20. I think the stickers are really cool. If it just had an exclusive item, I would have been more than fine with this. I was just hoping for an exclusive cosmetic item, but you know, errors do happen. People are human. Like th at the end of the day, you know, we can't do this cancel cu culture all the time and, you know, come for people when people make mistakes. You know, I think Jeffrey did right by giving us refunds. I don't even think that was necessary. Um, but I still just have an issue of how he responded to the girl on Twitter. Like that was completely uncalled for and it really has left a sour taste in my mouth. Like I have been a fan of his since my space days. I'm 31 and I've been following him since I've been 15. So you know, I've, I've been there pre YouTube, pre, um, pre Kat Von D, pre everything. I've met him at Warp Tour and stuff like that. So it's not like, you know, I'm one of these people who are like, oh, makeup, Jeffree Star, he's cool. He's an influencer or whatever. No, like I've known of him for more than half my life about. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm disappointed in his reaction, but you know, the way he, you know, said things on social media, I thought it was great. Like, when I had seen his snaps from yesterday, I thought he conducted himself well. He explained things really well. He totally, like, got where we were coming from and how we felt about it. Um, but then one of the, a drama, um, page on Instagram posted his, his, um, tweet to this girl and then, I'm just like, this is just not necessary. Don't drag people. You're a CEO. Like, you're a businessman. Like, you really should just 
not even go there. Like, and the, the tweet's deleted. You can't find it. The girl deleted her Twitter. Um, she only joined Twitter because she wanted to follow him. She claimed that he was her idol and he ended up blocking her. So I think that's really just bogus. Um, you know, it was unnecessary and it shouldn't have happened. I think he's trying to do right by giving us refunds and stuff like that. But like, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you just be kind to people. Like, I just, I don't get it. You know, whatever. But I'm not going to go on and on about it. But this is what I got in my box. So I got 818 and a lip scrub and the really cool stickers. So, um, just stay tuned for some of the, um, next couple boxes and I do have a boxy charm coming and other things like that so if you are interested please like subscribe leave comments please be nice in the comments I don't I don't do negativity like there's just too much in this world we don't need it so um yeah all right thanks guys thanks for watching welcome back